Welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to delve into a fundamental concept called the axis, which is crucial for you to grasp in the order to effectively utilize Flexbox. Imagine Flexbox as a container that organizes items. Now, this container has a default orientation, much like the way a train moves on tracks. This default orientation is horizontal, meaning it arranges its items from left to the right. So, picture it as you start on the left right side and progress toward the right hand side. What we observe here is that the main axis stretches horizontally from the left side to the right side of our layout, forming a row like direction. Additionally, we have a cross axis that runs vertically, moving from the top to the bottom. The significance of grasping this concept lies in the utilization of various CSS properties to place our content along this axis. In our case, we position elements along the main axis for horizontal arrangement and along the cross axis for vertical arrangement. New here? Ready to take your dev skills to the next level? Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated to our newest videos, suitable for beginners and advanced developers alike. Don't miss out on valuable insights and tips. Join us now and let's grow together. However, this is not an unchangeable role. We have the ability to alter the direction of the Flexbox container. To demonstrate, let's make a change. We will navigate to the container and adjust its default flex direction. Currently, it's set to row, meaning no alteration will occur. However, if you modify this to column, we'll notice a shift. The outcome is that the items now stack vertically, starting from the top and standing downward, diverging from the left to right progression we had before. At this point, a very interesting adjustment occurs. The main axis alter its orientation, run vertically from top to the bottom, while the cross axis now spans horizontally from left to the right. However, for the sake of usability, we are going to revert to the initial setting of row. This choice comes from the observation that in web development, the default row direction is utilized much more than the column direction. Therefore, in this course, our emphasis will be on the practical aspects of the default direction, aligning with the real-world user scenarios. It is important to note that the main axis is currently horizontal due to the row setting of the flex direction. Keep in mind that that main axis can also be oriented vertically if needed. Excitingly, in our upcoming lecture, I will guide you through the process of effectively placing items along this main axis. So stay engaged and look forward to our next section. I'll be right here to guide you through it.